Since everyone's freaking out over a president firing an FBI director, I thought it's a good time to talk about the only other time in American history that a president fired an FBI director, and that's in 1993 when Bill Clinton fired his head of the FBI, William Sessions. Because if you think the story around Trump firing Comey is scandalous, then just listen to this. On July 19th, 1993, Clinton fired FBI Director Sessions. Sessions had been made head of the FBI by Ronald Reagan back in 1987. He served under Ronald Reagan and President Bush. When Clinton came into office, Sessions was already in the hot seat over ethical improprieties for taking free personal trips with FBI aircraft. According to the New York Times, the Department of Justice report on Sessions was scandalous. So Clinton asked for Sessions' resignation. He refused, saying he wasn't guilty, so Clinton fired him. Now, this being the first time in American history that a president had fired an FBI director, this was already scandalous enough. But it gets even more scandalous, because on July 20th, 1993, the very next day after Clinton fired his FBI director, Clinton's deputy White House counsel, Vince Foster, committed suicide. Foster was said to have suffered from anxiety and depression, and he was facing some heat from Congress of his own on what was scandalously known as Travelgate. So his suicide could be linked to the pressure on his own White House scandal, independent of the session's firing, or it could have just been due to too much pressure in general working in the White House under Clinton. But this is where it gets really scandalous, because according to award-winning journalist Ronald Kessler, documents linking Hillary Clinton to Foster's death mysteriously disappeared. Kessler reported that two FBI agents confirmed they issued reports linking Foster's suicide to a tirade of Hillary's when she went off on him in front of a bunch of staffers. But when Kessler filed a FOIA request with the government to see the reports, it was determined that those damning reports had mysteriously gone missing. Now, of course, a lot of people are quick to dismiss this whole story as conspiracy, that there is no proof that the two are connected, the suicide and the firing, and that's fine. Maybe the firing and the suicide one day apart are just a terrible coincidence. And maybe the FBI agents were lying about their reports linking Hillary to Foster's death. But the fact that American President Bill Clinton was the first to fire his FBI director in the midst of swirling scandals is just plain fact. So go right ahead and pretend to start caring about how scandalous the White House and the FBI operate. Just don't pretend it's anything new.